Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning. It's 8 a.m. Stella and Simba are sleeping in the tubs by the window. They're so comfortable. Good morning, Simba. Did you sleep here all night? Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Boo. Boo's been all stretched out on the bed. It was really hot out last night. It was really humid, so I had all the windows shut and I had the air conditioning on. And the smell from the spray or from this room deodorizer, I don't know which it's from, but it's really bothering me. Like, I can't stand it, like I could feel it. I could feel it in my lungs. I just, I, I hate the smell of chemicals. I just can't, I, I don't like it. So um, I'm gonna have to like open all the windows and try to air this out and figure out like the solution. It's 9.18 a.m. I want to do some work in the yard before it starts to get really hot today. And Hijax is hanging out in the box. I don't know what you could see. Can you see part of his white paw? Because the top of the box is hanging down. But Hijax loves this box. I mean, the box is barely standing and Hijax loves it. It is 11.20 a.m. and I finished my yard work for the day and I came in my room and look, here's Boo. Boo is all stretched out on the bed. I mean, he was just like all stretched out. And I was petting him for a little while and I was telling him how lucky he is, right Boo? Boo, how lucky are you? You're inside so you look pretty. You're not outside full of dirt. You have beautiful fur and you're clean. If you were outside, boo, you'd be dirty. And you're nice and cool inside. If you were outside, you'd be really hot because it's very hot and humid today, right, boo? And you have a belly full of food. And if you were outside and if you were on your own, you would be hunting and scavenging for your food. But you had your food served to you. Now, if you were in the yard, when you were living in the yard, I was serving you food also and the automatic feeder was serving you food but Boo, you're such a lucky cat. Look how lucky you are. And you don't have to worry about anyone attacking you other than maybe like Stella bopping you on the head or Simba or Splash kind of chasing you around the house. Now, as I say this, who walked into the room? Who's going to jump on the bed right now? Hello, Stella. Stella heard me talking about her. Come on, Stella. Come up on the bed. Come on. Here's Boo. Hello, Boo. I don't think Stella knows Boo's on the bed. She might. She's looking, she's looking. And there she goes. Hello, Stella. Is she gonna lay down near Boo? Hello, Boo. Boo says, pet me, pet me. Okay, Boo. I'm gonna give you some pets. Stella's walking around, surveying the joint. Okay, boo. What 
Looks like Stella doesn't want to lay in the bed with you, boo. That's fine. You got more space, okay? Okay. It's 11.55 a.m. and Stella has decided to lay on the bed because she found a damp towel. Right, Stella? I put my towel on the bed and you decided you're going to lay on it. So that's what you did. Are you comfortable, Stella? Are you comfortable here? Can I get you anything? Would you like a drink? Would you like a snack? Would you like something to read? Very comfortable? Okay. So there's Stella and there's Boo. Hello, Boo. Are you comfortable? Can I get you anything, sir? Would you like a drink or a snack? Something to read? You want me to turn the TV on so you could watch something? No? You're just happy taking a nap? Okay. Enjoy your nap, boo. It is 1 p.m. and I just took the rug out of Boo's room. I rolled it up and I just put it in the garage for now. I really think the majority of the bad smell was coming from the rug. So the stuff that I sprayed on it yesterday, I mean, I don't think it did anything. I'm just smelling like, like chemical odors. It's just really horrible. It's been affecting like my nose. I just, I don't like living with anything that gives off the smell of chemicals. I'm really sensitive to that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to clean up the floor and we'll see how it is without the rug. I put the rug in the garage just in case. It's not the rug and then I could always bring it back in but I feel like it is the rug and I'd rather just replace it for $20 than you know waste so much time and energy trying to get the smell out it is 4 19 p.m. and look at the outside temperatures 115 degrees in the greenhouse and I have it open and 106 degrees outside on the side of the house that's hot and then 85 degrees well the unit itself says 86 degrees and there's another uh, thermometer sensor not far from this unit which says 85 degrees the thermostat was on 81 inside the house but it was really cold so I shut it off for a little while but I think it's colder closer to like the vents than where this unit is. I'm making a salad for dinner and I gave Stella a piece of lettuce and she's so excited but she wants to play with it. Eat it Stella, it's lettuce. Stella, it's romaine lettuce, you like it. She's never had it before. But Stella likes greens. Come on Stella, here you go. Here, eat it. Eat this. Eat this. You like it. You like cat grass. Yeah. Put it on your head. What do you want me to do with it? You just want to rub on it? Here. You want to rub on it or what do you want to do? You going to eat it? Okay, you're just going to rub on it. Okay, yeah. It is 6 p.m. and I forgot to defrost the homemade raw food for the cat. So right now they're going to have some blue wilderness cat treats and they're just gonna get a few crunchies and what I did was I started to defrost some of the nature's variety instinct chicken bites and one of the rabbit patties for boo because he doesn't like the chicken bites and those should be done probably like an hour or two so I'm gonna give them a snack now I'm gonna kind of reverse uh, their meals today so normally they would have dinner and then a few hours later they would have crunchies so right now they're gonna have their crunchies and treats and a few hours later then they're gonna have their dinner the cats are all eating their snack and for some reason splash does not want to come out from under the chair I guess because it's like off schedule for him so um, I gave him some crunchies under there and here goes Simba I gotta get Simba out of there. Come on, Simba. I just got Simba away. And there goes Stella. Come on, Stella. Come here. Let Splash eat his own treats. Come here. It's 7.22 p.m. right now. 
I just looked outside. I was in Boo's room and I looked out the window. I'm pretty sure this is ditto because of all of the white fur on the back legs. Yeah, look. Look at all that white fur. I'm pretty sure this is ditto. It looks like he's eating the dry food out of the feeder. There's a whole bunch of homemade raw food on the patio for Hydrox. But it looks like Ditto would rather have the dry food. Looks like he's taking a drink of water. So this morning I put fresh water like all over the patio. Every bowl outside has water in it. Except for the bowl, the automatic feeder that has um, the dry cat food in it right now and the bowl of food that I put out for Hydrox. But any other bowl that was outside, I just filled them all with water because it was like 100 degrees today. Hello, Stella. He's drinking a lot of water. He's been drinking for like five minutes. Turn around so we could see you. Nope, gonna go back and drink more water. When cats eat dry cat food, it's very, very important that they get plenty of water. I mean, when cats eat wet cat food, it's very important that they get plenty of water. Kidney failure and kidney disease is an epidemic among cats and dogs, so. Yeah, that's ditto. That's not Hydrox. Where's, where's he gonna go? I wonder if Boo's at the back door. Ditto is looking very skinny, probably because of the summer and it's really hot. And when it's really hot, you know, no one really wants to eat much. Oh, okay. Is he going to eat the food? I hope he eats it. Go ahead. Eat the food. You could eat it. Look how bony he is. Look, he's so skinny. I'm sorry for the reflections on the window. Well, I'm glad a cat is getting the food. I mean, this is the food I put out for Hydrox. And if Hydrox is not around to eat it, I am happy that another cat is eating it versus like a possum, skunk, or raccoon. So. Look at the ear. Look at the left ear. This cat was TNR'd. I don't know how recently. I hate that though. I hate how they tip the ear. I think it would be so much better if there was a tattoo inside. A tattoo inside the ear that would link the cat to a database so there would be actual information about when the TNR happened and who did it and stuff like that, where the cat's from, that kind of stuff. I think it would be really helpful to build a database of cats and you know TNR activity. If I went outside right now, I would totally scare this cat away, so I'm not going to do that.
Look at this. Look. There's a black cat that just came out of the bushes. Now the question is, is this one of the uh, the black cat? Is this one of the black cats that always travels with the other black cat? Or is this a black cat like that travels by itself? Are we going to see both of those black cats show up? Are they friends with Ditto? Are they enemies with Ditto? Is there going to be a fight? It's now... It's now like 7.35. And Ditto is doing this thing where he eats dry food and then he goes in and drinks a bunch of water and then he eats dry food and he drinks a bunch of water, so that's good. He's staying hydrated. And it looks like the black cat's backed away. Or the black cat. I don't know if it's one or more than one. It looks like they backed away to avoid any problems. And right now, Ditto is staring at me. He's just staring at me. Look at this. He's looking all... Scraggly. You're okay. You're okay, Ditto. How you doing? Are you hungry? You can eat the food. Go ahead. Go eat the food, Ditto. You could eat it. Are you related to Hydrox? You look just like Hydrox, just in reverse. And look who's watching me watch Ditto. It's Splash. He's on the stairs. He says, what's going on over here? Hey, Splash. Want to eat? Want some food, Splash? You hungry? Stella says she's going down there. She's ready to eat. I just went outside to put something in the garbage can, and Hydrox must have saw me because the next thing I know, he was running across the yard. But can you see him now? He's hanging out in the bushes. He's right here. There's a bush on the other side of the gate. And he's right in there. Can you see his ear? See his ears? I guess it's very cool in there for him. There is still a ton of dry food in this feeder. I don't know why there's so much dry food in this feeder. It's only supposed to be dispensing a half cup at a time. Unless it dispensed some food in the morning and then also at night but it's really making me wonder like are no other animals eating it overnight because normally whatever's not eaten by the time it gets dark then like the raccoons skunks or possums will eat it so i'm just wondering if maybe they haven't been eating it i don't know it's weird it's 11 p.m the cats are going to have their ice cream cones from Zoa. We have a chocolate cone. And then we have a peach cone or a, or a sherbet cone or maybe even a salmon ice cream cone. We have vanilla and we have strawberry. Aren't they cute? So the cats already had dinner tonight and they already had crunchies and I'm not giving them more crunchies and they're all waiting for something so this is their treat tonight their treat tonight is a brand new toy Simba you looking forward to your toy okay so let's see how they like these Stella are you gonna eat your ice cream cone Who's laying on his ice cream cone? 
Boo says no one else could have his ice cream cone. Stella's watching Boo. Someone says he wants crunchies. Hello, Splash. Simba says he's gonna sit on his too. Stella says she's gonna wear her ice cream cone like a hat. Stella, you love your ice cream cone hat? The cats are all gonna wear ice cream cone hats. Look at their mess of toys. They have so many toys out right now. Stella, you love your ice cream cone hat, don't you? I know, yours fell off, Simba. Here, I'll put it back on. Okay, there's your hat, too. You have a hat, too. Stella, Stella, your hat is beautiful. You have a beautiful hat. Stella says she loves our hat. She loves our hat. About 10 minutes later, Stella's still wearing her hat. She loves it. Stella says she always wanted to work in an ice cream parlor. Okay, Stella, I'm going to go to bed. You have a good night. I'm glad you like your hat. It's about 10 minutes later. Stella is still sitting there with her ice cream cone on her head. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.